alcohol. In moderation, this is okay. However, for men who are heavy drinkers, the risk of developing high-grade prostate cancer is two times greater than a non-drinker or a moderate drinker. What is a moderate drinker? Well, it depends on who's defining it. Some studies advise one drink per day or none. Coffee. Well, coffee seems to be associated with a decreased risk of developing prostate cancer, especially aggressive prostate cancer. It seems that this decreased risk is for individuals that, that have up to six cups of coffee per day. Now, I'm not suggesting that someone have six cups of coffee a day. We don't want men out there who are having the jitters due to a caffeine kick. How does this work? For goodness sakes, I gotta tell you, I don't know and no one knows. What about cigarette smoking? Well, there's a significant increase in mortality, death from men who have prostate cancer and smoke cigarettes. By the way, this is even more significant in African-American smokers. What about obesity? Well, there's a small and perhaps significant association between obesity and the rate of prostate cancer. What does obese mean? It's a belt line of greater than 42. Obese men with prostate cancer seem to have more aggressive or uncontrollable prostate cancers. 